okay so in the reservations we will be discussing the topics that we are going to cover there we will see the structure of reservation and information it contains manual and automatic reservations creating and changing the data in the reservation enter a goods movement with reference to a reservation evaluation of reservations and the reservations management okay and a ticking list for reservations so these are the topics uh, we will be covering in the uh, reservations okay so uh, what is what are reservations basically reservations are the request to warehouse to have materials ready for issue at a later date and for a particular purpose so here we are going to reserve a material for a particular purpose like for production or for some other purpose or uh, reserving it for issuing the stock to a customer if it is if it is a finished product so basically we are reserving the material stock for a particular purpose through this reservation by creating the reservation okay so it is important that reservations are considered in material materials planning materials planning so that required material can be procured at the right time okay so when you run mrp which we discussed in our previous classes when you are running mrp system should know from the stock how much quantity is reserved for a particular purpose so if system knows then accordingly it will create the required procurement element like for purchasing or production so that is the reason why we are creating the reservations in the system okay now another another use of creating the reservation is a reservation can also be used to plan an inward movement in advance even for good receipt also you can create a reservation okay so a reservation ensures that a material is available when it is needed that's what that was that's the main purpose of reservation okay so uh, typically with reservation we will be pre planning the goods issues goods issues and a transfer postings also and even you can plan the good receipt also with the reservation reservation okay i'll tell you why the the reservation concept is there okay suppose if we have let's say you have a material you have a material abc abc 1 2 okay for this material let's say you have a stock of 100 pieces 100 pieces okay now let's say production people created a production order they created a production order they want to do production okay for this production order let's say they create a production order 1 for this production order this abc material requires 50 pieces 50 pieces okay so now when you create this production order from the 100 pieces stock system will reserve this 50 pieces stock to this production order now let's say they create one more production order okay they create one more production order okay let's say now this production order 2 production order number 2 this here let's say for this production order you require the material abc 70 pieces but already from the 100 pieces 50 pieces are already reserved for the production order order 1 it's already reserved it's already reserved so now in that case now when you when you require 70 pieces there is a shortfall there is a shortfall of 20 pieces because 50 already reserved you are left over 50 but for your production order you require 70 so now there is a shortfall so if this is the case what system does is mrp will create a procurement proposal mrp will create a pr for to procure the remaining 20 for 20 pr for 20 so now system should know whether this 50 pieces is reserved or not so that reservation if you create then mrp will come to know that is the purpose of creation of reservation now if you this is a raw material this is in case of raw material okay now let's say you have a finished product let's say you have a finished product finished product okay let's say for the finished product you have a stock of let's say the your finished product is xyz uh, 1 2 3 okay now let's say you have a stock of 200 pieces finished product okay now one customer one customer has given a sales order sales order let's say for uh, 120 pieces 
okay so when they create the sales order it will create obviously after that they will create a reservation so it will get reserved reserved so from the 200 pieces 120 already reserved to the sales order one sales order one now let's say from the another customer i received one more sales order okay i received one more sales order from the different customer let's say sales order number two now here i require let's say 150 pieces but already from the 200 stock 120 is already reserved to first sales order so now system should know that only we we can confirm 80 pieces here 80 pieces here okay for this sales order now the leftover the shortage is shortage is 70 shortage is 70 now for this 70 now we have to produce the material 70 shortage so how system will come to know the shortage a whenever you create a reservation then based on that reservation system will come to know the shortage so that is why this reservation works in the system so that's that is the main purpose of creating the reservation okay so now what are the uh, so reservations can be uh, either it can be uh, uh, you can do using reservation a receipt good receipt you can do you can do a goods issue using reservations and you can do a transfer posting also using the reservation so basically reservation is nothing but pre-planning your goods movement okay you are reserving stock for a particular purpose so that later on using that reservation you can do goods movement okay so whenever they create a reservation planner production planner or controller or warehouse manager will come to know about this reservation that they have to reserve particular stock to a particular purpose that is the use of creating the reservation so uh, what are the reservation types okay so reservations can be created in two ways one is manual one is manual without no reference and with reference this is a manual okay manual method another one is reservations can be created in automatic method okay like in the pp module in the pp module when they create a production order system will automatically create a reservation okay and even ps module when they create wbs elements network it will create a reservation even during mrp it will create a reservation so this is a reservation creation either you can create reservation manually or sometimes it will be created automatically based on certain functions executed in other modules okay we will see both of them so once this reservation gets created information will get passed on to warehouse and even this reservation will be considered by the mrp in the next mrp to make the uh, to to create the necessary procurement elements like planned order or purchase requisitions so basically there are two methods automatic and manual okay so now let's start with uh, uh, creation of reservation so first let's start with manual okay manual reservation manual okay manual creation so manual creation the transaction codes are mb21 creation is mb21 change is mb22 and the display is mb23 these are the transaction codes to create a reservation manually so now let's see the practicals you will log on to the system okay <coughs> okay so go to transaction mb21 this is our create reservation initial screen okay here first thing is base date base date base date means on which date you you want this material to be reserved uh, you want to use these materials okay so that is a base date okay so now let me put let's say i, re I require on after three days let's say i'll put 0808 2018 okay now moment type what type of reservation it is okay it is a goods issue or a transfer reservation or a goods receipt what type of reservation it is so for that you will do through moment time so if you go here this one whether it is a good receipt reservation goods issue reservation or a transfer posting reservation so as of now i am creating a stock transfer reservation 
okay so i'll use moment type 311 we already discussed what is moment type 311 311 is a transfer posting from storage location to storage location one step so this i am using this moment type and i am creating this reservation in the plant 1000 so i enter that now done okay so once you enter you will be getting this screen you will be getting this screen so we are here so this is the structure of a reservation first we have the header we have the header okay in the header you enter the base date on which date you is you require the material okay i'll tell you what is check against calendar now you enter the moment time you enter the moment time account assignment like plant or whatever it is you enter now in the items items are nothing but what materials you require so you can enter multiple items so in the item details you enter what material is required what is the quantity where it is required and when it is required and whether goods movement is allowed or not you will enter in the item details this is how the structure of a reservation will look like you have header data you have item data you have item data okay so now let's put some items i'll put some items here i'll enter the receiving storage location this is my receiving storage location i'll enter the material 208 let me open the mmb transaction because we need batch numbers mmb 208 okay so now let's say i have this 50 liters of stock in this batch number this i want to move it to reserve it to move it to storage location 0001 0001 so i want i am making a reservation so enter the material quantity i require 50 liter okay from storage location this storage location i want to move now enter the batch number so this is a batch number stock batch number of the stock which i want to reserve so now enter it okay now i want to create one more reservation for a different material let's say take this material okay let us go to stock overview of that material just one minute let me open one more session mmb 209 okay uh, now let's say you have 150 pieces of stock of this material in this storage location with this batch now let's say i want to reserve 100 100 here okay so now let enter 100 pieces okay from this storage location okay so now what is the batch number the batch number is 1177 okay so now enter enter so i entered two items i entered two items now enter so i am reserving these two materials for stock transfer from this storage location to this storage location okay and the goods movement allowed is automatically uh, check box uh, checked over here this one goods movement allowed this one movement allowed this one okay so done now enter once now save it see post now system will create a reservation see the reservation got created now if you go to the display if you go to the display is this is a reservation number if you want to see the header data if you want to see the header data you need to click on this button header header button if you click cl click on that you see this is your base date this is the user from which this reservation is created and the account assignment is 3 level Okay, and the receiving story location is this one. Now, to see the details, to see the details, just click on the button over you, over you. Now you will go to the details. Okay, from here, put the cursor on that particular line item, and from here you can go to the. If you click on the button details from item, you can go to that item details. Item one, item one. So now if you go to the item one. item one display reservation details one of two so this is the one this is a material from this storage location you need it this is a stock we have reserved it with this batch number and required on this date and moment allowed so this is how you see the data so st structure of a reservation will contain header data and for a particular item item data okay so now we will see how to do goods issue against reservation so now before that i'll show you the moment we create reservation 
you see in the in the stock overview screen if i refresh it see as we created the reservation here it is showing the reservation reserved so this 50 stock is already reserved for some purpose you can see that here even the other material even the other material if i go to 209 if i refresh the screen see out of 150 we reserved 100 so it is showing in the reserved stock section it is reserved already so by looking at here you can you can know how from the from the total stock how much quantity is already reserved that you can see it over here okay so now let's see how to do the goods issue against reservation so now you you have the reservation against this reservation i need to take the stocks post the stocks so goods issue against the reservation okay so when you do the goods issue against reservation let's say you have a reservation okay in the reservation there are two items okay now first item is required five pieces second item required 10 pieces now when you do the goods issue let's say you posted 10 pieces exactly to the required quantity then system will automatically check make the checkbox final issue indicator system will automatically activate it okay if you make your required quantity is 10 you posted 10 quantity exactly to the plant then if, you, if that is a case system will do the final issue indicator it will activate now if you post partial stock if you post a partial stock then system will not activate this final issue indicator but if it is completed then you can go and put manually final issue that can be done that means reservation is closed so that is what that is what called final issue so now we will see how to do this goods issue against a particular reservation okay there are two check boxes one is movement allowed indicator another one is final issue indicator now if you see in the reservation see one is movement allowed indicator another one is final issue indicator as of now both are blank both are not checked because we have not made any goods issue against the reservation so now let's do the reserve goods issue against reservation okay i'll open one more session let's do it so now the transaction is migo 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 go to migo okay select transfer posting reservation reservation now what is the reservation number reservation number is uh 191820 191820 so 91820 enter it just click on the button execute okay so now you got both one is for 50 one is for 100 now what i will do i'll post now only one i want to post only one now i, I don't want to post the first one and the second one i am posting full quantity as per the plan as per the plan now check so it will ask for the batch number i think just one minute huh? what is the same batch number let us put over there where is the batch number This is a batch number. Enter it. Check once. Okay, that's okay. Not a problem. Warning message. Now here, what I'm doing? I'm only as of now. I'm posting only first, second material. Okay. I'm doing goods issue transfer posting for second item. I'm not doing for first item. Okay. Check once, and I will do the posting. I'll do the posting. I did the posting. Material document posted. Now, if you go to the reservation. If you go to the reservation again display see what happened here for this for the second item total requirement quantity was 100 and we already withdraw 100 quantity okay as the entire quantity is withdrawn you see there is an indicator of final issue indicator activated for second item whereas for the first item it is not at all activated because we have not withdrawn any quantity okay even if you withdraw partial quantity still this final issue indicator will be open now if you don't want this to do if you don't want to withdraw anything then manually you can go and activate the final issue indicator okay so suppose now as this stock is posted now if you go to stock over your what is the second material 209 right or uh, 209 if you go to the 209 situation 
we we posted 100 stock right so that 100 stock from move from here to here and this reservation will go this reservation will go now i am refreshing the screen see what happened stock moved 100 to here here and uh, stock has become 50 and that reservation has gone because we posted the course issue that's what will happen okay now coming to the if if your withdraw quantity is exact to your requirement quantity system will automatically activate this final issue indicator okay now if you, if you want to do it manually also you can do manually suppose if i go to change mode i don't want to withdraw anymore go to change mode now here for the first item you can do it manually activate this checkbox now this reservation will get closed now the moment i save if you go to the first material 208 this reservation will go this reservation will disappear we have not withdrawn the stock so now i am saving this done now if you go to the first item stock overview if i try to refresh you see what will happen see that reservation has gone because we close the reservation without withdrawing the quantity so that is the importance of final issue indicator okay final issue indicator so this is how you do goods issue against a reservation okay now the next one is evaluation of reservations okay so uh, i want to see the list of all the reservations in my uh, organization like plant wise or material wise so all those things you can do it through a transaction called mb25 okay mb25 reservation list inventory management here you go okay you have the selection screen you can see material wise plant wise date wise all those things you can see even you can see the status wise also only open ones only goods movement not possible ones cancelled ones as per your requirement you have the selection criteria this is the one so on the initial screen you have the required selection criteria accordingly you select the criteria and execute system will give you all the reservations in that particular as per that selection criteria okay so now let me see all the reservations in my plant thousand in my plant thousand enter the plant thousand execute see now you will get all the reservations here okay so this is the reservation number item number required quantity movement type material what is the required quantity currently what is the difference all those things you will get here so this is the reservation list okay that, <coughs> sorry excuse me the transaction code is mb25 mb25 evaluation of reservations you can see all the reservations in the system as a report that is the one okay now the next one is managing reservations okay so managing reservations means let's say i have created some reservations let's say i created some reservations in my organization multiple reservations i have now for these reservations for these reservations in mass i want to activate movement allowed indicator i want to do it now going to each and every reservation activating that is a very time consuming activity so for that you can manage the reservations in mass in mass okay so on the selection screen you enter the base date now what system does is from the base date the number of days you set it in the configuration it will add 10 days suppose let's say in the configuration you set 10 days system will add that 10 days to your base date and all these uh, reservations within this requirement date all these things system will display for you from there you can do the mass processing managing the reservation so here the transaction code for this is mbvr mbvr this is the transaction code with which you can manage the reservations in mass okay and this 10 days where you will set up i'll show you when we go to the configuration okay i'll show you in a minute so now let's use the transaction mbvr okay so let me go to the transaction mbvr mbvr manage reservations so you enter the base date you enter the base date now what you do i want to set goods movement allocation indicator okay so remove the remaining indicators okay as of now activate set goods movement to allow test run as of now we will do the test run okay so now let's execute 
okay already i closed just one but let us put some different date okay so it will add another 10 days not doing now huh? okay let me put zero one zero seven not we don't have data it seems okay let's select with closed items let's see what happens not getting item so actually if you have the data system will do the display the reservations all the reservations and once you save it will allow or let us do one thing let us put i'll create a reservation how much time it will take mb20 okay i'll create a reservation okay we need the stocks right just one minute mmb 208 let's go to 208 okay we have this stock right 208 okay what is the how much is the stock 50 okay not a problem batch number is double one zero eight enter the batch number now here i am deactivating the indicator material alert material alert okay so now what date i have put just one minute i'll put my requirement date as seventh okay i have not activated moment time allowed indicator now i'm saving this posting this one reservation i created i'll create one more with uh, eight as a requirement date okay i'll create one more okay uh, different material 209 i will take now now i put 209 okay and now i'll reserve this stock double one double seven this is a batch number okay what is the stock we have 50 right 50 50 and the story location i'll put it as your triple zero okay now i created two reservations and i'm deactivating material movement allowed indicator okay so now save it post it so now i have two reservations now let's see how system will behave manage reservations now let's remove everything test run i'll put goods issue lock set goods movement allowed indicator now the moment i execute the two reservation system will show see 918 only one it is coming on 91821 one more we have which date i put eighth i am not sure about configuration or oh, let us put just one minute let me put here for fourth date nothing is coming okay not a problem so i don't know if somebody might with the configuration they might have changed it only one day they might have put up two three days anyhow you will get all the reservations list over here all the reservation list here now select all and just save it that moment the moment you do that system will activate the goods movement indicator like this you can do for multiple reservations at a time at a time that is your managing reservations that is one that is one thing now the another one is you can delete the reservations let's say after certain period my reservations are not required there are a lot of bad data reservations are there i don't require them i don't require them okay so my base date is this one i have a reservations i want to delete all the reservations before required before previously october 2001 let's say okay now what system does is the moment the base date you enter on the selection screen system will take all the reservations with requirement that date 30 days minus 30 days which is set up in the customization and it will display all these reservations and then it will activate deletion indicator so instead of deleting the reservation manually one by one you can do with this mass function mbvr 
<coughs> okay so let's see how to do that again same transaction go to mbvr manage reservations you enter the date let's say i'll put my date as 01 01 now let's say issue log remove closed items remove this also remove now i want to put delete or set deletion indicator okay now execute now see system is bringing all the open reservations all the backdated reservations which are not required okay so now what you will do you will choose the reservation you will choose the reservation you can select all by clicking on this button select all and you save it when you once you save it all those for all those reservations system will activate the deletion indicator deletion indicator that is also you can do okay and this 10 days this 30 days or this 10 days uh, for this 10 days for this uh, uh, what do you call moment allowed one these things are set up in the customization okay so this is the one default values for reservation it is set up in the configuration okay the transaction code is OMBN. it's a configuration i'll show you in the configuration if you go to OMBN, OMBN, this one default values reservation if you go to the plant click on the button plant what is the plant we are using thousand plant thousand plant so for the thousand plant this one retention period is 30 days for the deletion indicator and for moments it is 10 days and if you see there is a checkbox activated movement type allowed by default when you are creating the reservation movement type allowed indicator will get activated automatically i'll show you that if you go to create if i try to create a new reservation mb20 in the plant 1000 if I, if I go inside see the movement allowed indicator is getting automatically coming automatically coming over here why because because of this setting because of this setting here it is there okay so this is how you set the default values for reservations in the configuration okay so this is what if you if you activate this checkbox if you activate this checkbox moment allowed checkbox is proposed during creation automatically system will propose okay now managing reservation allowed days for moment plus retention period okay another one is create story location data for material automatically this i will show you in the next class next class i will show you okay so this is a default values for the reservation default values for the reservation now the next one we will be discussing is picking list for reservation okay so i want to do mass posting for my reservations instead of doing it one by one i have shown you how to do it in mass uh, in uh, for a single reservation through migo we did through migo okay we did through migo transaction but let's say you have a lot of reservations I want to do posting for that lot of reservations at one go in mass. So at that time you will use this transaction. Picking list for reservations, MB26. MB26. Here you have the required selection criteria. You have the required selection criteria. And you enter the selection criteria. When you execute, system will give you all the reservations. <coughs> now, using once you get all the list using them you select the required ones or select all our required ones and then you do the posting okay so that is the picking list for reservation i'll show you that let's go to mb26 this is our pick list okay so you have the pick list here you have the selection criteria based on your requirement you can enter the selection criteria as of now let me see what are all the reservations in my plant thousand so select that click on execute so you got all the reservations in this particular plant you got the list this is this is a reservation number okay <laughs> sorry so you got the list now you select whatever you want to post let's say i want to post post first three select that now you do the post so now system will post if you want to do it for all 
if you want to do it for all select all button here and then you post it so now system will post the document uh, post the stocks against the reservation so this is how you can do mass posting mass posting using this pick list of uh, pick list mb26 is a transaction okay so now so far we discussed manual creation now the another method is automatic creation automatic creation okay so automatic creation i will show you how system will create the reservation let's say in pp module in pp module in pp module when they create production order create production order production order system will automatically create the reservation i'll show you the ones manual manual ones we already understood and there are some cases in other modules when they do some activity system will create the reservation automatically okay i'll show you that let's say i'll take a material i'll take a finished product okay i'll take a finished product let's say i'll take this material pepsi bottle 1 liter okay so if you go to this pepsi bottle 1 liter okay i'll go to the bomb of this material bomb bill of material we already discussed during our mrp class what is bill of material so if you go here i'll go to the first bomb of this first bomb of this finished product so here to manufacture this pepsi bottle pepsi finished product you require bulk solution you require a empty bot bottle cap and you require an empty bottle so whenever i create a production order for this finished product system will automatically create a reservation for this compound that is also possible so i'll create a production order co01 this will be done by pp this this creation of production order will be done by production planning module people you will not be doing in the real time just try to understand how the reservation gets created so take the material finished product and creating a finished product production order let's say i'm creating 100, 100 pieces that means i want to manufacture 100 bottles of pepsi pepsi of size 1 liter okay so now let me create current date not a problem okay done good receipt i'll activate the batch number now the moment i save the production order system will automatically create a reservation so suppose when i save the production order i create the production order save the production order now go to change mode or display whatever it is if you go to the production order okay if i go to the assignment tab there is a tab called assignment if you go there see system has created a reservation automatically 91823 this is a reservation number i have not created it manually system only created now to see now to see this reservation take the reservation go to our transaction normal transaction mb23 display reservation mb23 which i told you already mb23 display reservation okay so 91823 this is my reservation number see if you go here you can see this here this is a production order number and these are the raw materials reserved pepsi bulk solution okay bottle cap 1 liter empty bottle 1 liter okay and these are the quantities reserved these are the quantities reserved okay that is how it will happen okay so this is the reservation why the moment allowed indicator is not come is the order is not at released if the order is released that indicator will come I'll, i'll i'll show you the order release i'll try to release the order let's go to change mode now when i try to release the order the moment indicator will come now i'll release the order release is carried out now save it okay order is released production order that is a pp concept don't worry now if you go to the go back to the reservation and come again inside now you can see that goods moment allowed indicator will come till the production order is not released this indicator will not come okay so we have seen two methods of two methods of reservation creation okay uh,